that's kind of the thing too. Like when you meet a lot of like the perception of fighters is very different than reality because what you see in the ring tends to be the opposite of how a lot of them are very respectful, very humble, um, to a degree, uh, even more so in Thailand. But I think that's much more of a cultural thing as far as how they carry themselves and, uh, and all that. I don't know. I think it's almost as if the ring lets you, allows you to let all that stuff out, all that aggression and, and, and violence. And then, you know, the opposite of that is just peaceful, calm. And that's how I feel too, because training is so intense and, and, and fighting and there's all this violence and, and aggression and energy. When I'm not doing that, I don't want to do anything. I'm just here. I want to be peace at peace. <laughs> I want it to be quiet. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to do anything. I just want to relax. So I think you kind of need those things to balance each other out. So that maybe that has something to do with it because it is, it's like the more violent that is, the calmer you need to be over here because you can't maintain that all the time, that high output, that high energy, that high aggression, um, that'll just burn you out. And I think there's with Muay Thai fighters in general, or, or people, I guess people that achieve a level in a sport, but um, I think fighters in particular, and Muay Thai is really good examples. The people that achieve to a high level seem to have proven themselves to themselves. They don't feel they need to prove themselves to other people. So they, there is yeah. that sort of humility to them. The, the, I find the higher the level the fighter, the the kind of better person they tend to be. It's all the, the people starting out that are <laughs> yeah. kind of, well, I guess trying to, trying to fake it till they make it really and be and act tough mm. rather than sort of being confident yeah. in themselves. And I think Muay Thai is a great vehicle for that. And it certainly sounds like, yeah. you know, it, it's been a real developmental tool for you personally, hasn't it? Oh, for sure. Without, without question. It's, it's, um, I mean, everything in my life, I, I feel is, is, really based in the lessons I've learned through and developed through this art. You know, it's not just a, 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 a ring tool. It's really a life tool. And it, 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 it instills so many things in you that, that the world tends to not do. And that's very needed in this world and uh, in this life that uh, are important. I think, I think just um, athletics in general do that. Um, or really anything that requires discipline, you know, it, it doesn't have to be athletics, you can play chess and anything that requires extreme discipline. I think even more so in the fighting arts, cause you're talking about life and death and injuries and someone else trying to hurt you. So you're, you're really forced to face those things and to be much more, uh, dialed in and, and focused because of that element of danger. I think that the, having a consequence to anything just makes it a learning experience, doesn't it? And yeah. <laughs> there's a big consequence yeah. to not having put in the work in a, in a Muay Thai fight mm. and getting up there in front of everybody. Yeah, um, mm. yeah that's that's an interesting one. It's, it's, um, and, and those habits, like you say, that you have, that you develop in your training, um, with, whether you do face face up to the the hard things or whether you back away and just kind of shy away from them it becomes a mm -hmm. habit outside of fighting doesn't it and that's why it it kind of oh, yeah. feeds into life as well um and i think everybody's got a different level on how far they need to push with that to to learn those lessons mm -hmm. um yeah and, and people that are drawn to muay thai need need that kind of extreme end of it they they kind of that, that's what is the is the teaching tool for them yeah thanks for listening if you found this valuable please like subscribe and share with someone else it could help too please give the podcast a review or comment below we'd love to hear from you as always, you can visit heatrick.com for more Muay Thai performance podcasts, videos, articles, and guides. Catch you next time.